Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about where the market went this past week, where everything the market's going this coming week, and if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, so if you, if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of pain, but over time, it became consistent, and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We're taking a look at NASDAQ on the weekly charts. Last video I said, don't short, we're at a bottom long until year end. Ever since that day, we've only gone up. And now on the weekly, looks like we're gonna be coming into resistance to the left from about 14,800 up into about 15,000. So resistance coming soon, we'll have to see how it reacts. Obviously, I would expect us to pull back at around 14,800 on the NASDAQ from there, you know, get a little rejection, pull back, but still trend higher until the end of the year. That's what I believe. So I'm still holding my longs, of course. Let's go take a look at the daily chart now. Daily chart, again, looks very clear that we're going into resistance to the left right now. We had uh, the Fed essentially pause rate hikes. So because of that, it is looked at as bullish because the tightening is not continuing. If you see it down on the four hour chart, you'll see that we did put a little bit of a bullish market structure shift before the news. We had a bottom, we pushed up another lower high, but we made a, a higher low here, pushed up again and took out this high and this high. So now that's confirmation of a bullish market structure at about 14,460. Came back again and made another higher low, then broke that high again for another higher high. Uh, so here at this point, about uh, Tuesday by the market close, you had a lot of confirmation right there on the four hour that we were bullish. And then you could, if you want to get any longs, which I did, you'll want to move your stops to below that four hour low, assuming that we keep going higher. So now on the four hour, again, we're just right into resistance on the left. Um, if you go to the daily, you can see that technically speaking, we aren't even bullish on the daily. So this whole rally didn't do anything with the daily chart because we would need a close above 14,960 to be bullish on the daily chart for NASDAQ. So we have some more work to do. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at ES. So ES, oh, I had some lines drawn here, basically where I, when I thought we would initially bottom, that was that was here. Uh, my all my low was going to be 4230, but we dipped below one more time and then came up. So I think from here on we will trend up. So just ignore those lines. But same thing on the daily chart. You can see that. We're still bearish. We need to close above 42.90 to be bullish again. Let me get rid of these lines. Now dropping down to the four hour chart, same idea. We need to go get about 42.90, but it looks good so far. Not a whole lot to say other than we're bullish, so it's a good time to look for longs. Um, better time to look for longs on a little bit of pullback. But let's go to the weekly chart. Weekly chart, tons of support to the left, came right down to the support to the left, and now we're above. So. On a weekly basis, we're not bullish until we get above 44.35. We're not gonna wait that long though. Typically, I only need daily confirmation. If we're bullish on the daily chart, then it's a good time to look for longs, but right now we're still bearish on the daily. NASDAQ's still bearish on the daily, but I am in longs on the NASDAQ because of the four hour chart. I'll go to the four hour chart now just to see where are the next potential targets. Uh, first target being 42.90, but again, there's resistance here, so we can pull back tomorrow. Uh, come down to 42.30 or so, and then we'd be looking to see if we bounce and make another higher low, and then target 42.90. If we do that, we can be a lot more confident in longs because that would make the daily chart bullish uh, on ES. And then on NASDAQ, it's a little more room to go. We need to get above 14,950. So NASDAQ, we need to go up another about 1%, 1.5% to really be confident that we are gonna trend up uh, into the next weeks and months. But for now, it looks good based on the four hour. Now let's look at the VIX. So the VIX on the daily chart is really breaking down and this is something I like to see. So last video I shared was here Thursday, October 26th. We had a rejection candle and a lower high on VIX, but the market made a lower low. And that was a huge red flag to me for shorts, basically made me a lot more confident in longs because we made a high in the VIX, we made a lower high in the VIX. If you look at those two dates, Monday, October 23rd, and then Thursday, October 26th, let's go look at ES, what happened on those days. You see Monday, October 23rd, and then Thursday, October 26th, we are far lower than on Monday, but the VIX was also 
it, it couldn't get that high. So we went one and a half percent lower on S&P 500, but the VIX was lower as well. And that I said in the last video too, that's a bullish sign. We had the bullish sign. Uh, I got in some longs as soon as we went bullish in the four hour on the NASDAQ. And now I'm, we're just gonna ride it out and see how far we go. So that's basically it for VIX. VIX looks like it likes it wants to keep coming down, which is great continuation. Let's take a look at DXY and the rates. So DXY, uh, I didn't like how we were pushing up. and I did, still didn't like this, but the only thing that I was still okay with, and I said this in the last video, we were pushing up, but I said, hey, as, you know, if we don't get the close above 106.8, I still wouldn't think, and you know, I wouldn't classify it as a bullish market structure shift. I wanna see a daily close above the 106.7, sorry, because I wanted a daily close above this candle. Uh, we almost did it here, got rejected, and then almost did it yesterday. We closed right at it. And then today I thought for sure we we're gonna close above it, and I was getting, nervous about, hey, maybe we are wrong on the NASDAQ long until we got a rejection now after FOMC and uh, we're back down below. So dollar still to me looks bearish on the daily. On the weekly, it's extremely bullish. Uh, if you look at the weekly, uh, my eventual target on the weekly was 109. Uh, but if we can't get the daily close above, then I'll have to change that because the markets are starting to look bullish, but they're coming into resistance first. So we can't get too excited yet. Uh, last two things we're gonna look at is the 10 year and the two year. 10 year, massive rejection. This is the weekly chart, big rejection down, two year, rolling over and confirmation of a rejection now. Last video I said that it looks like we're rolling over and we're gonna you know, have this high put in and, and, and take out these lows. Look, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, this is very bullish for the market. Two year, if this two year is rolling over like that, bullish for the market. 10 year, uh, if, we, if it rolls over and goes extremely low, the 10 year, then uh, it's actually bearish. But Right now we're getting some uh, rejection. We want to see what, where, the, where this happens because if the 10 year consistently really falls, then that would mean that we'd like to have a recession coming soon. The two year though, it just means that the, the Fed's done raising rates if it pulls back and that's bullish for the markets. But what's bearish for the markets is the 10 year collapsing because the 10 year again, collapsing would, would indicate that's a recession coming and then people will get out of stocks because a uh, recession is coming, no growth. So that's basically all I wanted to cover. Uh, NASDAQ and ES, they are bullish on the four hour. They're still bearish on the weekly and they're still bearish on the daily. We have some positive seasonality coming in. The DXY is bearish on the daily, which is good for the market. The VIX really sold off, looked really good for the market. Um, and the rates peaked for now and are rolling over, which is good for the market for now. So all in all, in the short to medium term, very bullish for ES and NASDAQ. Uh, but the long term still is uh, bearish and we'll have to wait and see how the next days play out. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week, one every Sunday and one every Thursday night. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.